Watch it, watch yeah, it yeah, the top yeah, there yeah. when the screen is Oh my god! Mm. Uh, clearances will be checked at the end. Jeez. Everything's got to be washed up. And... She's turning all right. <laughs> Santa pod and we beat him. I seen the picture. That's yeah, that. Oh yeah, my yeah. god, you beat Ken Block. Yeah, beat him. <laughs> 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 he recorded himself good <laughs> Collection, look at that, the Subaru wagon, absolutely crazy. So, there's a pole position UK, so I'm gonna be going there soon. But, uh, look at that, what a classic! Those are the ones I actually like. Let's head into pole position right now because this is my first time actually going to this place, so I'm actually really excited. Alright guys, um, Paul Petition UK, me and Maj, uh, I'm here with Shah, he's going to give a big introduction about himself. Hi there, you're standing at Paul Position, um, we're predominantly a Subaru specialist, we um, maintain, repair, build, um, work on all Japanese cars but mainly Subaru. So you've brought yours in today, a bit of a water leak, um, yeah. I'm going to have a look at that now and I'm going to um, repair it, that's what we do. If anybody out there that's got Subaru Impreza's, head over here because they know what they're doing and everybody told me to come here. So uh, let's let's see what's going on. Pretty nice. Oh, look at this. I need a tool. <laughs> the mechanic fixing this car, he told me that it's actually a bad idea putting radio to sealant for Subarus. So <laughs> it's crazy how straight away as soon as I got here, they're already sharing knowledge with me about Subaru. So I'm already learning a lot. Why is it a bad idea to put a uh, radiator sealant in the car? It, it blocks the uh, the water galleries up. Oh but wow! It, uh, so they don't, uh, you know, Subarus don't adapt well to that stuff. They end up in, you know, causing a gasket issues. I hope that that's not happened to my one now. <laughs> okay. So how long have you been doing this time with Subarus? Yeah, ten years. Now, yeah. Ten years. Wow. That's crazy. At first, this was empty, and then um, all across here, it had loads of coolant all over here. So yeah, I don't know if that is a problem. It smells horrible as well, though, coolant. Okay. Yeah, let's take a look. Watch it, watch yeah, it yeah, the top yeah, there yeah. when the screen's Oh my god. That's crazy. Yeah, look. If you pull on that house, look, it's actually a plastic sprout there, look. Jeez. So that's going to need a new video, then, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we've got one there. Um, <laughs> wow, yeah. 10 years experience. <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant. Somebody told me that they're rated to 500 brake horsepower, is that true? What, the radiator? Yeah, yeah. Um, not technically now, but uh, that, they're really they're a good radiator. They're, they are very, very efficient. Oh, would you recommend getting a, a bigger, like, later in time, getting a Bigger Ali radiator? Yeah, right? aluminium one or something. That's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, they stand a little bit more. Do you guys provide that here? Yeah, we can provide anything. Wow. Okay, then. Oh, this is going to be so exciting. I can't believe I've actually come to this place. How long have you had it? Oh, just a, just a couple of weeks. Oh, is that all? Yeah, yeah. This car needs an under seal or anything like that. Um, I'll probably get it done if you're free. It probably would benefit from one. We've just done one if you're interested in looking. Yeah, 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 definitely. All done. All on the day. Wow. This looks so clean. All these will get painted. Yeah. We don't actually underseal that fast. We just, just paint it over. Yeah. Wow, that looks so clean. 
So when did this cu- this customer bring this in then? Uh, yesterday. Wow. You so we stripped it back yesterday. Got all the the loose rust off it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then wow. unsealed it. I yeah. never knew you can do something like this, like the whole... Yeah, yeah. That is crazy. Obviously, we, you don't underseal these bolt-on components. Yeah, 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 of course. It's just the, the, the chassis itself thing. that gets undersealed. How long did it... Uh, how, long, how many times do you have to renew this, like, if a person... Um, it should last a few years, really. Two or three years. Not to start with, it's like... Wow, that is so clean. <laughs> I'm shocked. Wow, that, that's a crazy Subaru there, that black one. That's STI, isn't it? Yeah, that's Charles, though. Whoa! No bird ring? Yeah, we, we went to the bird ring, you know? No way! Yeah, it's been a few. Chubwell Charles being loud at times. Jeez! Uh, nice to do a few. Nice. Twinkly bit of all the, you know, the covers and that. Can you see the... Whoa! Oh, wow! Spectra flare. That's sick! A lot of people said to me, these are high maintenance cars, you have to service them like crazy. Because I've had this for a couple of weeks, I have, I have done anything to this. Okay. So, um, I actually got a bit shook when it all started smoking out. I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong, I, I got a bit of knowledge, that's how I knew it was a radiator. But at first, I could have thought, oh, I should have serviced the car, I should have done something. Yeah, no, but, uh, there's something you could have avoided probably that, to be fair. Mm. I even get a Subaru. Uh, and then the whole thing again. So that is like completely gone, then I take it. Yeah, you can see it. Look. That's a massive. See the gap there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Jeez. It's broke. So look at that, guys. It's all gone. Trying for the new radiator to get in there. The car is actually going to be done today, so hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to work. And if it does, I oh, just can't wait to drop so more videos about this car. I'm gonna do the service on this car. No shot, Sashi. How much brake horsepower is that then? Uh, no. At the moment, we're not sure. We probably estimate it around 400 brake horsepower. Uh, uh, it's got it's got a, a turbo and setup, forged engine setup, capable of about five. Wow. So we're running very low boost. Um, it's my daily driver, so I really don't want it to no brake. No way. Yeah. You daily this? <laughs> That's crazy. That is. <laughs> Wow, I said Nürburgring, I'm guessing you... We, uh, yes, yeah. so I've got a dedicated ah. track car, um, oh. but it's a bit of a pain in the arse to drive to Germany. That's, yeah, a mu- yeah. that's much more comfortable, so I took that um, only a few months back. And, um, and, and yeah. no problems? No, nah, no problems. Well, I suppose that was the start of the turbo damage. I blew the turbo up at the moment. Um, we got a new one on its way today. That's crazy, that is. And that's your daily... Super, that's crazy. So what's your track one about then? Uh, that's special that one is. <laughs> he did say, he did mention something, but then uh, I just didn't think that's... That's my baby, that is. And that was, that's running how much? Uh, we're not sure on that one. It's, it's quick. <laughs> uh, if, that's, if that's a daily driven 450 brake, I don't want to know how much... Yeah, that, track it's got running. a much bigger turbo and a much higher spec engine. Wow. Lads again. Okay. This might interest you. Um, that's the starting point. That's your engine, as it come out of a bare cast. What the hell? So that's how we start. We put them together. Um, this one's just having a refresh. It yeah, was actually yeah. built a number of years ago, um, and the guys decided to upgrade to a different capacity engine. Yeah. But he wants this as a spare, so I should be putting new bearings in. Putting um, from scratch. You yeah. Built this from scratch. Oh, yeah. All the engines that come out here are built. There's some ported heads that I've prepared for another customer. So wow. we've uh, we've reprofiled the divider. We've um, smoothed all the ports coming out. That's all done uh, by Andy now. They're cleaned That's up. Crazy. That'll have a, a set of uh, Kelford cams, uh, Supertech valves, uh, titanium valve springs. The people that have owned Subarus, you probably know more than me. So this is all crazy stuff right now. With that short motor there to be machined, everything's done bespoke and, and mated. Wow. Crank will be off for dynamic balancing. 
That's all the cranks, isn't it? These, this is the camshaft out of the engine I'm refreshing, so all these will be measured, oh. checked um, yeah, for yeah, straightness, yeah. Um, profile. That's crazy. And then uh, shims will be uh, clearances will be checked at the end. Jeez. Everything's got to be washed up and, and, uh, and inspected. I thought I'd have to travel all across the UK just to get something like this done, but no, hey, no, people, if you live local around Birmingham, West Midlands area, Wolverhampton, if you want your engine rebuilt, I'm I'm standing right here. <laughs> the cranks, yeah. the everything, the parts is crazy. That is. So this this is what you do then. You just rebuild. Yeah, we start engines. from the scratch. We do uh, rally car preparation, Jim Carner car preparation and builds. Oh wow! Um, we've had we've had a number of successes over the past few years. Current, currently running uh, two cars for customers in um, in the rally championship. Um, one did really well at Rally GB recently. Really, really well. And you're, you're, you're doing his car, tuning his car and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? Yeah. Why do I not know about this? <laughs> <laughs> we, had, um, we had a car compete directly against Ken Block a couple of years ago in um, Jim Carner at Santa Pod and we beat him. I've seen the picture. That's yeah, that. Oh yeah. my God, you beat Ken Block. Yeah, beat him. <laughs> uh, not many people can say that, but we did. Oh, I'm speechless right now, I am. <laughs> what the hell? That is crazy. You guys should be even more like I don't know what. It's, it's what we do. We, we don't think it's anything different to anything else. Um, wow, uh, I'm I'm so shocked right now. Literally, thank you very much for even You're showing welcome, me this. You're this, 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 this. Just, are, are you on Instagram and? Uh, yeah, we're on Instagram, Pole Position UK. We're on Facebook. Uh, we've got a group and a page, Pole Position UK. Um, and we've also got the YouTube channel, which uh, I've got to admit is pretty, I'll pretty add, crap. At that. I'll add that on <laughs> the description. And if it, right here, if you can see, I'll put it all on the picture right now. Power Position UK. Follow them, subscribe to them, add them. Because, li listen, look at this. They know what they are doing. And if they if they can beat Ken Block, they know they're doing something right. That's all, I, that's, that's all I can say. So make sure you hit them up. Oh, so there's, there's two links for this. I didn't even know yeah. that. This is the one you need to check it when it's stone cold. Okay, okay. Um, never take that off when it's hot because there's a lot of pressure in there. Okay. When it's stone cold, okay. drop the lid yeah. off that, just make sure it's tall right at the top. Interesting. You've got another expansion one there. Okay. The water expands into that. Oh, it's like a safety mechanism. Then. Yeah, it, it'll, when it gets obviously up to temperature, it'll work its way down this pipe yeah. and into there. And okay. then as it cools down, it'll draw it back out of there. Wow, that's crazy. There's me trying to put water in there and you're putting the proper stuff in there. <laughs> oh yeah, always use antifreeze. Jeez, that's crazy that is. Wow. She's turning all right. <laughs> It has the car, the running and everything. What do you think? Sounds nice enough. Seems good. Yeah, sounds sounds healthy. What do I do in terms of service? What do I service? What do I check? Um, you want Spot to be doing all plug. changes, really. Every every we tend to recommend every three thousand. Every three thousand. I mean, yeah. based on general people with their Subarus with maintenance, so yeah. I'm guessing it needs one. Okay. You know, a lot of people tend to this type of car tend to buy them, crash them round. Okay. Give them a lot of stick. Send them to somebody else, never service them. That's, uh, you know, these two rooms have got chocolate engine type of thing, that's not actually yeah, yeah. a thing. Wow. It's bad maintenance, no times there, the thing. So, you know, with the, every 3,000, is that just the oil? And the at, at least, yeah, just the oil and filter, at least every 3,000. And the, the other components lasted obviously a lot longer. Spark plugs? Like spark plugs, yeah, we, well, we tend to say once a year. Once a year, okay. Um, more is dependent, if, you, if you're only doing sort of 6,000 in a year, then I'll probably Two. live in a couple of years. So. Oh, okay. But, yeah, that type of thing, really. Thank you, thank you very much. I really, no problem really at all. appreciate that. Thank you very much. No, 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 no. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. I, I can't, uh, just can't thank you enough. I'm just so glad again that I'm here. It's crazy, this is.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>